And so I guess as we just sit here, four black men on the 4th of July, honestly, like, how do you all feel about holidays like today? Like, holidays that are kind of sort of, like, rooted within this patriotism of America. Uh, just, like, how do you all feel about it? Because I guess with this holiday, it's a little different. Like, when I think of, like, um, Memorial Day. Memorial Day, I kind of do feel a little bit, I feel probably a little bit more of a, I don't know, like American spirit, or you feel more so for like, if you know people that have died, that served, or any of those type of things, you feel something there. Mm -hmm. With days like today, uh, or yesterday, excuse me, with the 4th of July, I, I find myself not really giving a damn. I don't really care mm -hmm. about it. Like, mm -hmm. not, I mean, you know, I'm not trying to say I'm not grateful for the things that I have, or, you know, not recognizing opportunity that I do have here, fine, I let all that slide. But just in general, within the whole theme of, oh, today is America's birthday. How you feeling about it? Betsy Ross, flags. How y'all feel? Do you care about the Patriots uh, here? What do you think? I mean, it? I'm kind of on the same wavelength you feel. Like, I really don't care. This is the time to get to drink, eat, and, you know what I'm saying, get to them beans. <laughs> but my biggest thing, I think another, like, um, I guess, uh, facet or way to think about it was that when I was riding around, like, driving to the various cookouts, mm -hmm. when I saw, like, this is really bad to say, but I ain't bad to say, but that's how I feel. Like, when I saw black people wearing, like, um, like, 4th of July gear, this shit kind of like, huh? The, like the American flag? Like, like the American flag, mm -hmm. like a hat or a shirt. I just felt some type of way. Like, I was just like, what the fuck? Like, we used to do that, though. I mean, why? We used to do that. But, I used to. I mean, we used to do that. I mean, just, I'm talking about grown-ass, like, adults oh, yeah. wearing this shit. Like, to me, it's just like, this is the same country that we can't even, you know what I mean? Like, we got a whole, still, still have a whole movement of Black Lives Matter. Like, we have, you know, hundreds of black men that are persecuted, or we have hundreds of thousands of black men that have been, you know, incarcerated. Now, I get we have progress, but at the same time, like, when I see something like that, I just think we, like, where is, for black people, patriotism? Like, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't still 100% identify with the American country. Like, I mean, the country that I live in. Like, I love the people that are in it, and I love our idea of trying to change. But I don't think we're there that I want to wear, you know, a flag that represents something that I don't agree with. So, I mean, okay, now, I mean, like, I mean, like, there's, I agree with your overall point, but if someone wants to wear the, I mean, that's, I mean, so if uh, when Katie and uh, James Harden and Kyrie wear the you know, United States jersey to come next month, whatever the Olympics start, you're going to look at them crazy? No, because those are role models in that. I hold them at a, I'm just saying, like, I hold them at a Well, in, in, that, in that case, case they're actually representing the U.S. Well. In that case, they're actually representing the U.S. Okay, I, I mean, I guess I totally, I get your overarching point. I, I'm not going to, there are people, like Dante said, there's people whose families have served and, like, died and all that. And, like, I mean, if people, we built this country. So, like, you want to take a little bit of pride in America, like, black America, black America does a lot of cool fucking shit. So, if you want to take some pride in that. Well, that's not what Fortnite is about, though. I think we we need that. First of all, I didn't think we all need to go around and establish we're what Fourth no, of July about. is, though, because I mean it means something different to me. I, let, my me let me finish my point, though. Yeah. Let me finish my point. So again, that's two different arguments, right? Like with the, the flag and then Fourth of July. I'm just saying I agree with your point, but if someone wants to wear whatever, that that's totally fine. I'm not a person who's overly patriotic or anything like that, but I think it's weird that you know we're probably the only country where people just have big ass flags up that just. Like eighty foot pole flags, fucking wear American shit all the time. Not even just on Fourth of July. I mean, fucking March third, and people just have like full all American garb on. Or you saw the video of people at Walmart saying the fucking Pledge of Allegiance or whatever they were doing. Like that's not what I. That's not no. I don't. I don't. I. I feel weird about that. I think we can do two things at one time. We can realize that America has been a place that even to this day, has been very impressive to black people, has done nothing but step on black people's necks, literatively and figuratively, but also realize, I mean, shit, I mean, as bad as it is, like, I mean, you know, I mean, I guess I would rather live in America than most any other country, so, I mean, you know, you can kind of reconcile that, but as far as being paid, I mean, July 4th to me is, is, a, is a time to celebrate black America. I don't know what white people do for 4th of July. I guess they go and yeah, put their flags on together, put their flag shit together and play the Team America song and do the Pledge of Allegiance. I know black people, I get together with my family and, you know, someone might have like some American plates or whatever and some silverware, but... That's only because they were the only ones at Walmart. What I was saying, <laughs> like, you know, I, I'm, this black America. My family's black America, right? So, like, all the other shit, like, no, I'm not going to do the Pledge of Allegiance. I'm not going to go and... Um, 
get a fucking America onesie and wear that and all that, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> America. But I'm not going to knock somebody who feels like that's the... Just being proud to be an American to me is not inherently an anti-black thing. I guess that's where I just did disagree with that. I just feel like, for me, like, it didn't really feel like... Coming up, it didn't really, like, have any, like, a, in, in, like serious importance to me. Like, it was just a time where I get to see all my family. Like, we get to all hang out. Honestly, like, I like back in the day, like, when you can try to find, like, something red or something white. Like, try to coordinate the colors. Like, I feel like we all did that corny shit, like, in, like, coming up. Like, so that, that was cool for me. Like, wearing those different things, seeing your family, eating, have a good time. It's kind of, like, always, like, to me, like, the last big holiday before, like, you had to start thinking about school. Mm-hmm. Like, then it was, like, after 4th of July, that was always... That was the summer, summer was downhill. Yeah, right it was, there. like, downhill after that. Two yeah. more trips. Yeah, I never really looked at it as a big, like, a, like I never, like, was like, oh, I'm a proud America on this say, day. Right? On this like, day, like, nah. Like, it was just kind of, like, just getting together with family for me. Like. And, and if people do do that, again, like, fuck, man. Like, people's great-great-grandparents literally built the fucking country. So if you want to take pride in that <laughs> shit right there. Seriously, I'm big to this. Uh, like if you wanna if you wanna take pride in that shit, I mean why not? Right? Oh, so if your like, granddaddy was to skinny year, I mean I I, I can't I'm say, I can't say that, I'm, 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 I'm not I'm just not gonna, gonna say like that's not what I do personally, but I'm not gonna look down on somebody if that's what they wanna do. Yeah, right. Now obviously we live in a world now that if you go on Twitter or Instagram, you see somebody's post, they got thirteen American flags next to their uh uh picture. All right, I'm gonna probably assume that you also got a uh, fucking MAGA hashtag. Well, you got the four A about that. Well, I mean, because that's usually just a big. I mean, I feel like it's the same way of us assuming that the you know what I'm saying the person that the black person is wearing the like why can't they have pride in it and it had to not be so too extreme because there's two extremes of each side. Like there's the you know black militia or things like that. I'm just saying like there's two extremes of two of each side. Like mm-hmm. one that we're talking about that have built this country like their great granddad or grandmother had built this country from the black side and then there's the extreme side you know what I'm saying and then there's a um, you know a white or whatever well, different rules for social media mm-hmm. in real life but I mean whatever so, like, I, I mean that, that's not really the point but I'm I'll, I'll just going to add over kind of what he was saying like in terms of this type in, the, in terms of this factor in terms of just like people wearing like the actual American not like wearing the actual American flag but like wearing stuff with like the American flag on it I kind of feel like even as just like black people, it is something that we have gotten away from in recent years. Like, yeah, I used to have like a Ralph Lauren, like American flag t-shirt, throw that on some camo shorts yeah, on the 4th of July. That's how it would be. But then like you get older, you just kind of get so disenfranchised with this country. You just look around, you see everything. It's like, you know, your eyes get open and you're like, I don't got wears no more. I don't want to. That's all I was trying to say in terms of wearing. But the, but the World Cup yeah. ha- happens, was it next year or the year after? And if America is good enough to make it, it probably won't. Will I buy Team America jersey and celebrate them playing? Yeah, I guess I can mean shit. When again, when KD in 2016, when they went and they wrecked everybody's shit at the Olympics, you got damn right I was hype about that shit. There's a bunch of black guys sitting there blasting everybody's asses, and it was fucking really cool. Like, I'm, black people are Americans, right? James Harden, uh, LeBron James, whatever. Like, we know, like this country got it in the back of our neck, but. Black America is a part of the country, right? And we're taking shit, and we're like, black, like we've said many times, Black Lives Matter is is commercial now. We're getting our foothold. So, yeah, Black America, we're part of America. Yeah, I think that's the thing, though. I think we're more so happy about, like, just the black people being in those places, being represented, like, world across the world, like, just dominating the world. Like, so everybody, because it was at a point, like, early, like, early on in history, like, in, Nazi Germany, I think they hosted it. Yeah, they like just they, they, like, they yeah. like the black people running. So just being on this stage right now, like, is, is amazing. But like, as far as like celebrating the actual day, like, is the, the independence of America. Like, I don't think a lot of black people give a fuck. If you put that. us, if you put us for in a time <laughs> machine to seventeen seventy six, no. Oh, oh no, no, time. Thomas Jefferson. Um, of course not. Uh, ben Franklin. Uh, have me some gunpowder. Uh, shoot. Betsy, can you get my shoot. gun, please? Shoot. Like, shoot. Jets. Yeah. Who are those fine men? They're slaves. That's yeah. what, exactly. Like, this is what I want to always do. Like, uh, their hair is, is trimmed and nice. Their teeth. I, uh, listen, man. Like, don't get any to his I Like, you can tell me about the Founding Fathers, all that. You know? <laughs> Bro, none of them would have no. shook my hand if I went back in time and go talk to them. They'd be like, where is your master? So, yeah. Like, it ain't like being a like, That's what people yeah. are trying to say that. Like, yeah, I mean, like, that was a great place, but when that uh, Declaration of Independence was signed, it wasn't for blacks. 
It still wasn't for blacks years after the fact. It didn't become so, for blacks a while after this. We're still working on it becoming for blacks. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I well, at least now we're at least allowed to exist in a, in theory. Like, shit, I just think I mean, patriotism has been watered down. Like, if you look at World War One, World War Two, like, Bama's was taking the ties off their car to send that jump to the war effort. Or it was, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm serious. Like, no, I got you. I don't feel thing. like I they were doing thing. anything for the war. Well, no, those, war. I get that, but that's still, still patriotism. I mean, it's war. I mean, you got to love your country. Ask Russian. Ask the Russian people. I mean, so if you want to take the war thing, then ask the people that were on the other side of the war, were they going to give up the shit that they have to fight against America? I mean, well, I'm saying they were forced to. We, though, you know, I'm just, I'm speaking just in the, in the past, like, people were willingly giving up their liberties to fight a war. Yeah, they wanted to win, but they did it for a country that they loved. People, I feel like, who, who do you mean people? Huh? People, like, what kind of people? What are you talking about? Like, people. General and American people, 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 white people. Are you talking about white people or black? I just don't understand. White people, black people weren't giving up shit because we didn't have shit to give up. I'm just talking about, I'm, talking, about, I'm, talking, yeah. about, yeah, I'm just talking about patriotism in general is not the same that it was back in the day. Like, when... And it was in a war, non-war, whatever. Like it was propaganda at that point. Now it's something that people have woken their eyes up and want more for their country. And I feel like we'll get there one day. But as a whole, as a melting pot, we are not on the same page when it comes to patriotism. Like that's just to be honest. Yeah, he, he got a good point, especially with what you said earlier about um, the flag connecting to MAGA hats. Because right now, people in it's the old American sense, flag, you know, people with the old like the old-fashioned patriotism, usually that links to some. Different type. I can't speak for everybody because some people might just generally like yeah. the American flag. My neighbors have that shit, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, usually, um, but some people like just I don't know. Like when they look at the American flag, they only see MAGA. They only see those type of things. But like that is becoming the more outdated because the more information comes out about what we did to get this country, the stuff that happened in this country. Not a lot of people are too proud of the history of of, of a lot of the shit that happened. So like, I think the patriotism, like. Like, oh, like, we're proud Americans. It's changed. I mean, so, we're all happy to be in I this mean, country. So I get, so like, that's why I was saying, you said, we mean, I mean, if you probably leave the Northeast Corridor, people are pretty proud to be American. Like, you, you go into the Sun Belt area of the country, they're all proud to be American. They go and they say the Pledge of Allegiance at Walmart. You know, like, that, I don't, I think, it, you can argue that there's, if we're polarized, right? I mean, you know, 8 million people yeah, voted for Trump, everybody yeah. voted for, so it might be split, but there's still plenty of people that are very patriotic for the country. The country. Part I mean, of a very perfect they point, though, know, like, the election like was a prime example of patriotism being watered down, though, because if patriotism was going to win, that would have won that election, like, because that was the entire election, that was the whole Trump MAGA front was America, right? So if that was the case and we, there wasn't a certain change about how patriotism is viewed, then wouldn't they have won? But to be fair, oh. to be fair, to be fair though, Joe Biden's thing was also saving America's soul. It kind of, both of them had some stupid sense of patriotism that they wanted people to believe in. That's, I'm not trying you to can't, point. No, no politician is going to win anything by saying... Um, this country sucks. Yeah, no, but he wanted even, to change America. Even, that's the thing. Like, it well, wasn't no, saying, like, was damn still, America. Like, no politician or president going to say America isn't the greatest place to live. Of course not. But they are going to... The reason why Biden won, obviously, of course, of another mm-hmm. myriad of issues was that he identified and realized that the people are asking for change mm-hmm. because patriotism has gone too far. It's not... It's become radical at some point and it's from both sides, the left and the right. So we need to find a middle ground where we both are proud of the country that we that we live in and we want to um, improve upon it at the same level. Like, we want equality. We want... You know, things for everybody. We all, everybody wants that's to have a voice, point. and that's patriotism. It's not who's the who can say the president allegiance louder, or who can give the most. It's about I feel like I identify with America, not black or white. That is what patriotism is to me, at least, and that's where you know, what I'm saying I feel like that's where we need to be at, or we we're striving to be at. I hope. Yeah. Can I ask yeah. a quick question. What's uh, just you said? Oh, it's like patriot. This you said patriotism went both ways. In terms of like it's been it's become too radicalized on both sides. Mm-hmm. What does radicalized liberal patriotism look like? I'm not being a jerk. I really just want to know. I mean, in my opinion, like it, it could be, you know, obviously we know about like if, if I were to put a placeholder for the right or radical for like MAGA, we have MAGA, right? Mm-hmm. We identify them as radical at some point, to some level, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. So I mean, the left is, I guess, the total opposite of that. If you want to look at, I mean, Eric could probably be more astute of talking about what you know, the left wants or things of that nature. But I just, when I view that, I think that they want to do the polar opposite of what um, 
you know, the right ones to do. Like, if it's abortion, okay, well, no, we want pro-choice or we want, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I look at it. It's like, what can we find a middle ground that everybody is agree upon? Like, that's what I'm looking at. Mm-hmm. I don't think, I mean, I don't want to bring up Atifa or stuff like mm-hmm. that because I feel like that's, to me personally, I feel like that's, that's made believe and stuff like that. But I just don't think that there's a, a, a true radical, radical left, but there's also obviously a, a, a true radical right. What Aaron, what Aaron was saying was 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 good early too. Like it, it, it's 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 like it, the, you can be proud of your country and not be like a racist or a radical yeah. person. Like there's there's a way that people can just grow up. Like usually usually you can get the military side, but people are just happy to be here compared to other countries. Yeah. We're we're extended a lot more liberties. Yeah. Not necessarily black people, but we're extended a lot more liberties than you would necessarily in other uh, governments. Some of the most uh, patriotic people are immigrants. You know, they could compare you know, where they were or where they where their families were, or what they grew up in, to America. Like, oh, I can go down the street and I can just get ethnic ethnically cleansed. And oh, that's America, why Trump know, had, and not forward. to say Trump had a significant yeah, no, Latinx yeah. population yeah. who yeah. just moved here. Cubans, 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 yeah, they went real hard. I feel like Cubans. that's another thing. Is like mm-hmm. maybe that's just you being happy and grateful that the opportunity that you have now. Like, that's the point. I feel like we're spoiled in a way because. Like the the joke is that's first world problems. Like mm-hmm. you know, they complain about Wi Fi not going fast enough, mm-hmm. and then you got people that <laughs> don't even know what Wi Fi looks like. You know what I mean on their computer or on their phone. Like, mm-hmm. and then you take somebody that's gone away from that and going like, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna be quote unquote patriotic because I think we do a really good job of vetting who comes through. Because I mean, has anybody seen the questions that they ask you to get citizenship? One of my, you know what I'm saying, guys that I used to work with, he. Became a U.S. citizen. It was the mm-hmm. happiest thing in his life, you know what I mean. But he showed me some of the questions I couldn't answer, at least five or six of them. Like mm-hmm. because they, we do a really good job of making sure, like, hey, is this going to be one of those that's going to turn against us and so like so. Of course, you know, we look at these guys. Use an example, Cuban Americans. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. we want to make sure that like those people that come in, they are fully like a hundred percent patriotic. We were born into it, mm-hmm. and we have a very lens that we are. Like African American male, so we have a de- totally different perspective mm-hmm. from a patriotic look. If you take us and put us in a different country, like them, I mean, like immigrants that come over, like yeah, we're gonna be not quote unquote brainwashed, but we're gonna be very appreciative of the situation that we have. But yeah. that doesn't mean that the people that are already here are just stuck with the status quo of how things are going. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean that segues into. Kind of one of the next points was just how does race affect any positive view that you have? I mean, we're obviously we obviously had a jaded history with yeah. how America treated um, black people in this country, um, but there are some at the same time. There are some people who holy shit, happy for Russians. Russians, Russians, talking too much shit. This NATO, America. Oh no, it was NATO. Were we NATO? We were NATO. I think we were in NATO. I think we're back with them though. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, okay, lost my point. Shots fired. <laughs> now you talk about the uh, how does race positive if does race affect your positive view of America? That's what it was. Yeah. Well, I, I guess I can just take the first step. Mm-hmm. Um, like I was saying, I think we're all like when you really learn about the history of America and, and the role that blacks played into it, I think it's that natural like feeling of being jaded um with anything that we're doing. Like even like it was getting to a point where I was like like you were saying, like, I don't even want to wear the red like why am I wearing the red, white, and blue? Like it's not like like, I don't. I don't really care that much about it. America has done like fucked up things, so like, why am I? Why am I really repping that until we kind of like mitigate these issues? But at the same time, like it does get down to like, um, like being happy for where you where you are, like where like as far as like being proud of the country that you're living in. Like we don't like I said before, we don't really get a lot of the same opportunities. Like if you go somewhere else, I didn't, I'm not world traveled or whatever, but um, just like from a like. Um, like a three thousand foot view, like it doesn't, it doesn't appear that you can get the same liberties anywhere else. But I don't know. I mean, what do you guys think? How do you? How does your race play into like? How does that hinder you, or how does that push you into being proud of I this? I think that's the backdrop of this entire conversation mm-hmm. is, the, is the race aspect of it. I mean, that, that's what it boils down to, right? Mm-hmm. Again, like my whole, my point at the beginning is just like I don't expect everybody to feel this way, but I just mm-hmm. know like for us, I think we all feel the same. It's just you know we're not super paid. We're not gonna get 
American sneakers, American shorts, American okay, wait, shirt. Let me quote I'm just cool. saying, like, you're not gonna wear <laughs> all that together <laughs> in one mm-hmm. and be like, oh, American, you know, yeah, 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 we're just that. That's just not us, right? And it just for a lot of reasons, we have like three centuries worth, probably longer than that, of just documentation, and that's just you know that's weird for us, right? And again, you can also you can do two things at once. You also realize that I'd rather be in America than a lot of, a lot of other places, right? You can, but again. Black America, we built this country, and we're still, again, we argue about this point all the time, but I think we're actually starting to mold the country in our image slowly but surely. Again, Black Lives Matter is a commercial thing. Four or five years ago, you couldn't even say that without being black, blackballed, from, no matter what you were doing. That was a dirty word, just, just Black Lives Matter or whatever. Slowly but surely, we are, you know, starting to take hold where it matters with the people we elect and all of that and who knows where it can go from here but black america it, it, it's it's part of america so like when i think of four of july or what it's like being american i just think of the cool shit that me and my ancestors well not me but like my ancestors have done and like the, the pain they've been through and how far we came martin luther king was an american my Malcolm X was an American, so no, I don't think about basically. I don't think about Thomas Jefferson or Benjamin Franklin right. or uh, Alexander Hamilton or uh, you know Aaron Burr, any about them. Like whatever, they wouldn't. They don't respect my right to live. Most of them, maybe one of them was an abolitionist. I don't remember, but like most likely, they don't respect my right to live if I went back in time. So that's not who I think about when I'm thinking about America in a positive way. I guess I'm thinking about people, Barack Obama, Kamala Harris, people like that. I guess we got Black History Month. I'm joking. I'm February every week. It's almost the month. It's the month. No, I was gonna say, um, hey, yo, random fact. I got like three different pairs of American flag socks. But um, they're not wrong. I'm not saying it's like it's like random things you have. Like you see stuff on Twitter. People walk around. I saw some someone driving their. F three fifty big ass truck eighty foot American yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's not not the whole Hogan theme so I'm sorry. Like, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think this is like the hardest part about it is like your race in terms of that. It's like in my personal opinion, it's kinda of like, you know, I I mean, yeah, like I live in America. I feel like when bad things <laughs> I'm here. I'm I'm it's, it's not because we just break it down as simply as I can. I live in America. When good things happen to America, good things can happen for me. When yeah. bad things happen in America, you know, I mourn with other Americans. Totally. You know, it's like, yeah, it's totally. Like, you know, bro, like, you know, there's a building full of dead people in Miami, most likely. I, yeah. I'm sad about that. Yeah. Like, that, that's terrible. But it's just like, you know, yeah, it's one of the hardest things in the world to kind of feel like you're an American sometimes. Like, yo, like, just, I mean, I didn't mean to say it. It's like, I feel like <laughs> but it's just a hard thing to think about. Like, bro, you usually don't think about it like, oh, yeah, I'm an American. It's like, what, it's, or it's like a, a nasty thought in the back of your mind. Right. Like, if I go to, if I go to like Mexico, yeah, I'm an American because that's just on my passport. Yeah, that's how yeah, I'm getting yeah, home. Yeah. But it's like, yo, do I sit around talking about, you know, I'm American, all that type of stuff? No, I don't. I usually don't think about that. Like, bro, I'm black. Like, I usually do not think of country. I think of, like, these other people. I think of these other stories. Like, even if you talk about, like, people like Barack, you know, those type of things, like, yeah, that's a part of American history, but, nigga, that's black history. Like, I don't usually think of stuff that, like, revolves around this country. Like, yeah, I live here. And that's why even when I started off what I said, it's like, yo, yes, I am blessed to live here. I realize I have an opportunity. I realize I'm able to do things that other people don't get the chance to. And, you know, that's great with you. It's great with you. Yeah, I'm about to say it's great about that, but it's just like, it's the hardest thing in the world sometimes to just like kind of come to grips with it because you're just like, yo, a lot of things that we just see in this country, and I mean, yeah, I know the social media isn't everything. I know when you go on social media, most of the time, yes, you're either seeing an extremist view of one side or the other, but it's just like, yeah, it is hard to sometimes feel like that American kinship because it's just like, yo, look, I vote in the election, I do what I got to do, I pay my taxes here, but do I feel like part of this country sometimes? Hell no. They haven't invited us to be a part of this country in a lot of ways. We're still working on that. We're still fighting it. Like, even what Aaron said is true. Yeah, we made strides. We're trying. We're getting there. You know, day by day, we climbing. But do I feel American? Hell no. Not a lot of times. Like, the 4th of July is like, it's another day. And that's, I guess, it's like the biggest thing. Like, we just oh, yeah. the topic. No. It's like, yo, it's, it's yeah, like, I don't want people to think it. Yeah, yeah, I know you like, got big ones. I know what my default is, too. Like, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, I, if, if I'm going to look at it as a, oh, I'm an American lens, that's the lens I'm looking at. Like, my mm-hmm. heroes aren't, like, yeah, the founder, I'm sorry, bro. Obvious. They would not respect my right to live. So I can't be my hero. Like, do I like Steve Rogers? No, I don't even like him 
like that. I <laughs> yeah. yeah. the character in Captain America always going on. I'm sorry. Propaganda, man. Propaganda. I'm sorry. Propaganda. Like, do I love Superman? No, it's very propaganda too. But Douglas Spider-Man is people like that. Those are the people I. Like those are my black American, my American heroes. Yeah, I also heroes. think that that's yeah. also like as we're on the topic of propaganda. I think that is the progression that we like that we need to appreciate about America right now. Mm-hmm. Is that there is not a lot of American propaganda per se. Like where it's forced down your throat. I mean, like we, I'm just saying, like MAGA is sports huh? propaganda. You said what? It's all MAGA is sports propaganda. No, MAGA is like, but that's just. Bro, I'm, I'm talking about like as a I have a season tickets to the Washington National before every game. We all have to, I have to stop in the line <laughs> to, well, for the national anthem. Like, I mean, not saying anything wrong with that. I'm just that saying, though. like, that's, that's not propaganda. propaganda. That's, that's not propaganda. You go anywhere. That's the, the, only, country do that, that's the only country. England does not do that. Well, we don't really Canada does allegiance. Maybe Canada. I don't think it only wants to do play. Canada, they don't have their own sport. Well, I know it's so the playing, NHL is American League. But no, so. I was just saying. No, I'm saying. But typically, like with other countries, if they're playing like an country, international country, like yeah, World Cup, but, Euros, yeah. But then if they're like, if it's just like two English clubs, like yo, Arsenal and Tottenham, go out here and play. But they, they don't, don't play. Do God world. save the Queen. They don't. <laughs> God, that's a guy. I saw they play that shit every time. I feel like they're on the kids. England is going to play Spain. Yes, they will. If it's just if it's just a normal, the Premier League is equivalent to NBA. When Arsenal plays Chelsea, they do not play the national anthem beforehand. That's not how that works. No. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's in terms of just like forced propaganda, like what you're saying in terms of like if like yeah, there are no, there are fewer like blatant propaganda signs like oh uh, Uncle Sam needs you. That may yeah. not exist like it used to, but it's still like in certain ways ingrained in us. Or even like, and I'm not taking anything away from the military. Even like with as much like deference as we pay to our military, yes, they give the ultimate sacrifice. I'm not taking anything away from them. But that is still within a sense. It's like commercial do it. How many commercials they use for days or two? That's not propaganda to me. I feel like that's just career marketing at that point, bro. Sure. Like, but they that's just like, I'm, I'm, like, like I said, what like, getting on TV and saying we need career consultants. Like that's to them. That's just marketing. Yeah. That's not propaganda. Like join America. Like it just shows you there's other job like. That you can get in the army. Uh, how many jobs are there? Kill it. I mean, uh, there are all I'm not trying to take. 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 i am not you know, you, propaganda is a thing, and you can make it do what you want to do. I feel like propaganda, propaganda to me is, is, is inherently evil, though, because it's not. Propaganda is everywhere, man. You can't get away from it. It's not inherently it's just, evil. It's a difference between marketing and propaganda, though, because, like, marketing is trying to sell you on something. Well, propaganda is, you have, you either have, you either want to be with us or without us. It's a fine line. Okay, you know go, I mean? like, go ahead. Go I don't think about, like, yeah. Germany. Like, eighth grade, make, go tell whoever your homeroom teacher, oh, I'm not doing a national anthem. I mean, I'm not doing a pledge leader today. See what happens. Yeah, and I'll be on the news. And then, <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> but that's what I'm saying, though. No, I'll that's be called out of mark. If I choose not to, like, this marketing that's on TV or something, like, I'll just be like, okay, like, that's different. No one would fucking look better eye, but if I choose not to do the American flag mm-hmm. or put my hand, I'm, I'm that's to me that's even. It's like either you do it or or you're against you with us or against us. Is against that us. propaganda? Or, but, but that is the problem. Let's stop talking about propaganda. <laughs> God damn, the word is getting real. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it goes on. The Colin Kaepernick thing is the main thing, right? I think that's like the, the like the kneeling of the anthem and all that. Like again, to somebody who is like super patriotic, say you live in Iowa, like you live in. Uh, you consume heavy amounts of Fox News. Even if you don't start, consume Fox News, like, you know, to you, the flag is everything, right? Like, you know, uh, I'm, I'm going to, uh, if I'm at a baseball game, I'm going to stop. If I'm peeing, I'm going to put my shit together. I'm going to sit there and stand in the national anthem. Mm-hmm. To us, like, I mean, like, shit, uh, the, the flag, whatever, mm-hmm. but what Colin Kaepernick is fighting for is more important. Than the flag, right? That's like people right now. That's just a piece of cloth, right now. What he's Colin, doing, Colin Kaepernick is fighting for America, right? That's what, <laughs> and that's what I was saying earlier, right? Like, like that, 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 that's, yeah. that's America. So, you know. so many different ways to do it. Shout out to those who uh, say the pledge of allegiance to the national anthem, they digging a hand in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. You just got to say, that's not very. Now that's what I'm saying. That's propaganda, like the flag in the ground. Oh man, propaganda is actually another episode in and of itself. We we can say that's actually it's a fun topic actually yeah. when you think about just how deep propaganda goes. It's not a, it doesn't exist. It can't be good or evil. It's only made to do 
do stuff, do stuff but you know. But uh, yeah, I think we made to be good. Yeah, that's patriotism. As that's Germany. Germany. Anybody have any closing thoughts on why patriotism? Why do you what mean for Germany? <laughs> Germany? Germany pretty fine for me. No, I'm just talking about like when I think no. of Nazis, I just think the propaganda was the worst thing to ever. Okay. Like, yeah, it right. literally yeah. created people to hate the entire. Yeah. Propaganda is marketing. It's not like a difference like that. Usually. I feel like it's propaganda is uh, it's like America did that. Literally, America marketing. did the same. America used to do caricatures. It's marketing to it's encourage it's people it's to join the war effort. Like it's marketing. It's a fine line, bro. Yeah, I hate Germany. That's what it is. Propaganda. Hey, I go to church on Sundays. They use propaganda sometimes. Maybe. 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 Bro, the COVID vaccination commercials are propaganda. They're good use of propaganda. Don't get me wrong, but that's what they are. Propaganda is biased already in nature. Marketing well, yes, has unless you make a decision bro, by bias, yourself. Bias is not inherently bad. That's not a bad. You're, you're looking at bias as a bad. Well, that's what I'm saying. I, I use the example of Germany as an example of already inherently bias against like Jews or a different type of race. Like okay, and we're not. Times, if I go look at a Target ad and it, 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 it is a marketing, but I can also use propaganda to get you to stop killing Jews. I can tell you, Jews are good people. Good. No, I can, marketing. No, you're right. I can I can do propaganda. Not, America used propaganda. Right. You talking about Germany and World War II? Right. America used propaganda. They used to draw up like Asians. Yeah, that's what with, with spangs and most. long, scary like they, Vietnam. They, they, and that's what they did. I'm not, not, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm right. saying that it happened. That's, 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 happened. that's a hell of an example, dear lord. All right. Right. Uncle Sam is propaganda. I don't think that's an inherently bad thing, but you can argue it. Like Uncle Sam, like those posters led a lot of young men to die. Oh. So I mean, <laughs> like God. I mean, yeah, like, like, that's not, he's not wrong. A lot of people did that. It's like, me, boy, look at him here. They still died. They chose war. I know they chose it. I, I, I'm aware they, they chose to go to the war. <laughs> they they chose to die. I thought those were going to go back. Ultimately, when you think about it, the black yeah. the black American story that is the American story. I mean, it, we started off from like literally like slaves, not even considered a full person. Now, some of us are running like one of the most okay. successful businesses. Okay. We've had a president of the United States. That's to me, that's the American story, and that's the American. That's that I'm what I'm of. like. That's, that's it. That that's that yeah. story. That black America, like you said, that's the one I can relate that's to. It. That's all they can relate to. Because ultimately, like if they really got class past their own, like, I don't even know what to call it, like, stupid shit that they be on, like, and just really just look at what the stuff that we've been through, they'll understand why we're fighting, why we're still pushing, like. Because what we're, this is a controversial episode. If we even play the episode for the entire country, somehow we got that level of engagement, right. there'd be some entire states who think we were crazy and yeah. they were awful. It's I true. don't think we're saying anything particularly crazy. This is quality. Like, this equality. literally, that's, like, that's my dream of America, though, is what I'm trying to, to like, Mine is more, was coming off more in the beginning as, like, why do you identify that? But also mine was, my dream of America is that it isn't black or white or it's all, we all, like you guys said, celebrate it, but then we also celebrate it together. It's like a twofold thing. Yeah. And celebrate black history. Intersectionality. Or, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, and that's the point. Right. Black like, history should be American, American history. Like, yeah. it shouldn't be two it shouldn't different things. It shouldn't be two se- se- separate things. And yeah. I think as we progress... And I, you know, I like the progression that we're having. Like, we will get to that point. But to my opinion, I'm just gonna leave it at that. This mm-hmm. patriotism is taking a step back, and it's time for us to kind of fine tune some things, and then maybe at some point down the road, we can all be one American. But we're time for new patriotism, real okay. patriotism. Shout out to that. Okay. We need a war. We need a war. Like, uh, this thing. <laughs> That's like the plot of Watchmen, which was shocking. Really, that's what it was. Like, that's why the guy. He, yes, he staged the alien invasion to bring the world together, and then all people died. I'm like, oh, that's just how it had to happen. So the world, was together. That was good. Like, anyway, it's, oh, oh my god, it's <laughs> funny. Like, um, all right, that was episode seventy six. Uh, patriotism was special. Seventeen seventy six. Isn't that funny? Oh man, we did this perfectly. <laughs> wow. Shout out to Ben Simmons. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, episode 76, special holiday themed episode. Just wait, wait till we have a plan for Labor Day. God, <laughs> I don't even know what Labor Day is for. What are y'all explaining? We ain't wearing, I ain't doing no 9 to 5 no more. Okay, I want four day weeks. Um, That's what Labor Day about. Just talk to whoever the CEO of your company is. All right, cool. So, for episode 76 here, the world famous Sensation Podcast, your man Shadow Cole. It's your man's on Lady W here. It's your boy Malik, aka They Be Geek and Lee. And it's your boy Darian, aka Clark Kent. And these are the Hentations. Damn, that's smooth.